Hey guys, Rizuki here, back with another video. Now I know it's been a while, so I'm gonna keep this one kind of short for you guys. Um, so mainly I have to do minimal editing, but um, it's been a while since we got some figures and I picked two up, so I'm just gonna hint the box here. Might be able to guess who it is just from that. But um, we'll show the cards off first, because this was for November and December of 2019. So here is a November card. I'll try and get it so there's no glare. There we go. Quite nice. Um, I think the December one's a lot better personally. Uh, just the December one. I believe Ami Ami tweeted out all the cards from this year as well as their uh, end of year Twitter posts. So you can see all the different designs there. I think I picked up about three or four from this year. So not a full set. Um, but these are the last two figures um, I'm probably going to be purchasing for a while. Uh, I sold quite a few prize figures. Um, we think. I think I sold around five to make room just for these because the rest of my scales I'm keeping but um, I wanted to get rid of some space so I could fill this. So the first one you're probably going to be able to guess the second one once I show you the first one. Um, first one's Mary Sotome. So I'll try and get it without glare again. It'll be quite hard. There we go. Uh, so Mary is well, the newer ones from uh, last year now. Um, and she's from Gakaguri, of course. Um, it's weird that they only did Mary and uh, Jabami so far. I'm assuming they're gonna do more if these have sold out and series three is as popular as the first two series. Um, so yeah, hopefully. It's, it's a 1 8 scale by uh, Utabakiya. Overall, really good quality. The weirdest thing about this one is it's the same scale size, but the box is a lot smaller. So the box is pretty much the form factor of the figure. There's not much extra space storage wise, which is good in terms of me putting up figures above my bed. So pretty decent. The box art is really good. I'm glad that they actually didn't just leave it quite plain. I'm glad they actually took time to invest a little bit of the graphic space and promote the series. Um, so as some of you guys know, it is my favorite series. And that is the first one. So she is my 17th figure, I think, and this 18th will be my final one for a while until I can get more space or if I decide to sell specific ones off to make room for new ones. I'd probably only consider doing that if they brought out a one fourth um, in terms of category scales. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't consider selling anything I've got currently. Um, and you can see all my figures on uh, my figure collection. The link will be down below. Um, but yeah, number one, you could probably easily guess that it was going to be Jabami based off the other one. But yeah, um, number one waifu, number one character in the series. Uh, a few people would disagree with that, most likely. Um, but yeah, I sadly missed her the first time around because I was saving for something else. So I wasn't able to pick her up for the, I think she went for around 75 pounds which is around I think it was around eight nine thousand yen the first time she released so I was kind of salty I missed out but again I was saving for something else so you know got to prioritize um but this time around she was just over ten thousand yen I believe so she cost me around 90 pounds same as Mary and that's before customs so that was 90 with shipping from Japan and I use um pretty much the cheapest tracked method uh, but yeah, still get slapped with customs, obviously. But um, customs is more on her, as you can tell, because the box is slightly bigger, so the weight was obviously increased. Um, it wasn't a massive amount different, but it was enough to obviously increase the price of customs. I think customs was, I want to say, 20 on Mary and 25 with Japan. So not a massive difference, but again, £45 for customs adds up, especially for people that are ordering a lot more than two figures over the course of a year. Um, but yeah, really happy with her. Um, I'm kind of still sad I didn't get the original because I wanted the extra faceplate, not that I take them out the box, but for when I will um, start presenting them on a like glass cabinet and whatnot, it would have been nice. But um, for the price for both of them, and both of them being from my favorite series, it was 100% worth it. And that was sort of my Christmas present to myself in terms of um, figures. As I said, I'm not really going to be buying too many more. Um, so content-wise, figures aren't going to be the main 
the main thing for a while, I don't think. Unless you guys would want to see me reviewing figures, so looking at what's releasing in the future and giving my opinion on the sculpt and colours and overall quality. Because I have um, figures from a fair few amount of companies now, so that could be an option. I'm also considering doing like React videos if you guys would like to see that. Um, it could literally be anything, it doesn't have to be anime related, it could be music related, game related, so on and so forth. I'm just thinking of things I can add to the channel which won't take up a whole lot of editing time because streaming is a lot simpler in that form where I can just hop on and hop off um, and don't have to spend a lot of time fiddling with various settings. So that's sort of the options I'm going to lay out. If you have anything you want to suggest, feel free to comment it. Um, Discord again has grown a, a fair bit, so thank you everyone that's joined. And yeah, I, I, one more time I'll show them off again because I didn't really give too much give too much of a look on them. But yeah, I'll try and quickly do the box comparison. It's going to kind of be kind of hard to hold them up at the same time. Oop. Don't want to drop. About me. But there, there you go. You can kind of see. So it's kind of double the size, which is quite a lot. So in the future, companies Koto. Whoever is designing boxes, form factor, much preferred, especially for displaying. So yeah, that is my two pickups. Again, I'll show you the two cards just because the artwork is absolutely divine. Shout out to the artist for this. Honestly, it's brilliant. I'm hopefully going to frame all the ones I have so far and put them up on my wall. Um, so yeah, that sort of, in short, is everything that's happened over the past couple of months where I haven't been uploading. Um, you can still catch me on Twitch. Uh, I'm working a little bit more, so I don't stream as often. But yeah, thank you very much for all the support, and I'll catch you later. Peace.